Hey, welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a pork loin roast. I've done the pork loin, tenderloin, not the roast. So I uh, worked on this for about three hours today and um, tune in next and you'll see how I got to this finished product. Okay, so our first step is going to be to get the binding agent and then the rub on the pork loin. This is about a three, a little over three pound pork loin roast. And we're just going to use some virgin olive oil here just to help the seasoning stick without a problem. Rub that in all throughout here. Get the sides. Flip it over. Now see there is a bit of a fat cap on here. It's this came directly from the um, from the butcher like this, so it's it looks like it's trimmed enough. We don't need to trim it anymore. But if there was a bigger cap here, we'd probably want to want to trim that down a little bit. All right. So now we'll take the seasoning. And we're just gonna sprinkle it all across here. Brown sugar in there is making it very clumpy. It's all right, we'll just spread it around. We are gonna cook this with the fat side down. I know there are different views on that, whether or not that is the best way to do it. I like to do it, it feels like it protects the meat better that way, it keeps it from burning, keeps it from drying out, that kind of thing. I'm gonna have my assistant go out and start up my smoker. My very willing, very happy assistant that never gives me any trouble. She's gonna set that smoker at, uh, we're gonna do about two, yeah, I've got either two, 200 or 225, and I want to do this somewhere between there. So let's go ahead and set it to 200 and then adjust back and forth. So this is ready to go on the smoker. We are going to run that smoker at about 200 degrees, and every 20 or 30 minutes, I'm going to go out and spritz it with a little sprayer here of applesauce. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to spray it with my little spritzer here of apple juice <clears throat> and then this will cook for about three hours. We're targeting the temperature um, somewhere over 102 degrees. We don't want to dry, dry, dry it out. So I'm going to monitor it very closely and we'll check back here in a couple of hours. All right, so we've been cooking this now for about an hour, hour and a half and I want to go ahead and move it to a pan with some apple juice, some butter, and the butter's got some rosemary and some garlic in there as well. So I've already sliced up the butter. I've got a pan ready with some apple juice, a little bit of apple juice dumped, dumped, dumped into it. And then I'm gonna put some slices of butter on top of the pork loin once we get it. Move it in there like that. And then now I've got these sliced pieces of butter. Take them and just spread them out on top. All right, so now we've got everything situated in there. Should close. It's hard to do it with these damn gloves on, so. All right, so it is now at temperature of 103, so it's still got a good 45, 50 degrees to go before we're ready to pull it off of here. Um, it's gotten some decent smoke on it. That pan is open on the top, so it'll still continue to get some more smoke, so that won't hurt it. Hopefully the butter will just add to the flavor. Also help keep it really moist and juicy, and the, butter, the uh, apple juice will do the same. I am gonna also spritz it with some more apple juice here. <clears throat> on the top of it. All right. When I say spritz, I more like soaked it, but <clears throat> it's it'll work, it's good enough. So, all right, we'll be back here in about an hour, hour and a half, and it should be ready. All right, so we've got it off the smoker. It's reached an internal temperature of about 145. It's been resting now for about 10 minutes, so it is slowly climbing a little bit. 
and it is ready to slice. So right before I pulled it off the out of the pan, the foil pan that I put it in, I first uh, took a spoon and I kind of dumped all the juices over the butter and the, all that jump, dumped it all over the top of it. So it's been sitting with that there for a few minutes now and it looks like it is good to go and ready to slice. So now I'm going to go ahead and start slicing. Looks pretty good there. Got a nice peak ring around the edge, <clears throat> a smoke ring. Smells delicious. Alright, so I'm just gonna take this first piece here. Give this a try. Mmm. That's pretty good. The brown sugar gives it kind of a sweet taste. No, oh, it's got that cayenne there because I got a little bit of kick to it. <clears throat> it's very tender, juicy, full of flavor. I can't pinpoint one quite one thing that really stands out over everything else. So. I think it's pretty good. All right, <clears throat> well, I'm gonna finish slicing this and then I'm gonna have some dinner. So be sure to go out and uh, check out some of my other videos. Like this video, comment if you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, and be sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.